Welcome back everyone, it's George Glove Relays. I'm going to do a little video on a good reason to keep a, a ball inside your glove. This is obviously a pancake. When we get done, it will show. It will have a shape of a, a glove, kind of like this one. This is my old Trusted Beauty. Uh, it's 34 years old, been relaced many times. She's got some problems. Um, Kind of a the typical Rawlings tear in there and a little bit of problem there. I play first base, so the ball gets pounded really hard right there. And, you know, it's showing some age. There's some some cracking and things like that. And the palm isn't the best, but it's, you know, for my age and, and what I like, I love this glove. Uh, I just love it. But you always got to keep a, a ball in it. I mean, it just helps it keep its shape so much, even when you're not using it. Obviously, in the off season, it just keeps the shape. Uh, if you don't use it for years, and when you come back to it, it won't look like this. All right, it's always hard for me to remember the before picture. After you do so many of these, you just kind of blur after a while. But I know it looks good after uh, getting it all clean and conditioned. It has a nice pocket because it was a pancake. That's why you always want to keep a ball in a glove in case you put it in a closet. It doesn't have to be a softball; it can be a baseball. But just some kind of, hey, my son back in the day was always funny. I would go get my glove and the, there wouldn't be a ball in it. And there'd be a ball in his glove because he forgot to uh, put it in there. It was always a big joke in the family. But you could put a sock or something in there. Just something to keep it where it doesn't smash when you have it in the closet or in a bat bag or something like that. But this one came out looking good. Got your Rawlings done. Put my old ball back in my glove. And, uh... We'll go off to the next glove. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube page and always share my videos on Facebook. Thanks.